Hi all and welcome into this video. Um, in this video we're going to be discussing getting a custom livery on your iRacing car. So this was my first time playing with it so I thought I'd share my findings. Um, basically all you're going to need to do is head over to the your iRacing area, head into account, customize paint schemes, customize car. So this is to get the PSD file, the file we're going to need to start making the changes um, to all your decals, the colors, the shape of the designs, anything you really want. Show all cars and then the car you want to do. So I'm editing the skip. I just wanted to show you this screen. This is where you pick. Once you've got the skip selected, you're going to want to hit this download car template. Okay, that'll start downloading. Let's take a look at that file. Um, zip file. So we're just going to go ahead and extract that. Okay, and this is the PSD. So let's get that opened up in Photoshop and I'll show you how we went from our before to our after. Okay, now we're in Photoshop's. We're going to head over to the Paintable Area folder, open up the car patterns and choose the car pattern we wish to replace. So first now we're going to replace the colors they've given us. So first up, we're going to use Photoshop's color replace feature to remove the green and replace it with my orange I want to use. Okay, now we're going to get rid of the red. I'm going to use the fill tool to update it to my gray I like. Okay, up next, we're going to remove a lot of these sponsors by just using the color drop tool and quite literally painting over them. Okay, now the sponsors are hidden and the car decals are hidden. We're going to bring in all my logos and sponsors and decals I want on the car. Brilliant. And now that's done, we're going to look to export this. Now you have to make sure when you export this file, you export it as a TGA file. That's the format that iRacing and Trading Paints use. Okay, now you've got that Photoshop file all saved. Let's get Trading Paints installed and get it set up and I can show you how to upload the file so we can get it applied onto your car. First things first, if you haven't already, head over to tradingpaints.com, create an account. Once you've got an account, head to the install area. You're going to want to click this and it's just a standard Windows setup file. And once this program is installed, it's going to look a little like this. Now, um, I don't run mine on system startup. I use um, iRacing Manager, so I have that set up through here. Every time I run iRacing, Trading Paints kicks in for me. Okay, and you want to make sure automatically refresh paints are on. So this is not just going to allow you to get your custom livery on your car, but also allow you to see everybody else's custom liveries, which is uh, fantastic. It was a game changer once I started using it properly. Okay, so once we've got the program downloaded and installed, come back into the website. My paints, once you're in this area here, there's a upload a paint option. Click that. Choose a file, uh, choose a paint file to share. Click on the TGA we exported from Photoshop. Let that upload. There's our export. Upload my paints. You want to just me? Select your vehicle. So we want the skip bar bar. And then you hit upload. I'm not going to do it because I've already, this is the same upload as I've already got live. You click upload, it applies on your car. If you run in the software in the background, once you open up iRacing, it should look a little like this. As you can see, this is the skip barber. Run in my YouTube logos, my website, and my website colors. And the two people I use the most really for to make this happen is NVIDIA and Logitech. So I thought I'd pay a little back there and feature those on my car. So that's great and all. Um, I'm going to be working on a few other cars um, to get all my cars up to, up to date with the new paint skin. But if you're looking at getting yourself on my car, um, I'm on Patreon, link in description. Once that loads, my top tier 
allows name or alias or your YouTube channel on my car. Um, for the mid-level, mid it's your name or alias on my videos. So that's there. It's an option. Not going to make you guys. Your support is more than enough just with the likes, subscribes, comments, and emails, and Facebooks, and tweets. You know, I can ask for no more. But if anyone was looking at featuring on my cars, there's a way. So I'm going to get all my cars up to date with all the colors, the logos. So I'm going to try and get them all matching. And I'm also going to play with the matte, metallic, and roughness settings that iRacing have recently added to really get that um, look that I'm going for. Okay, I really hope you enjoy this video. Um, I've been a big fan of trading paints. I have to say, when I first used it quite a while ago, um, this is going back a bit, I had a few problems. And to be honest, I just wanted to focus on the racing. And um, I just fell out of sync with it. So after doing a bit of reading, researching, um, some friends telling me, I thought I'd jump back in and try it. And this time around, it's been it's been brilliant. Um, I'm really excited to get this design used. I'll be hopefully doing a skip race real soon. And it'll be... Liver will be on there, so I'm excited to get that done. All right, guys, like if you like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. But otherwise, as usual, I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.